Hello everybody, welcome to Nostalgic for Retro. I'm your host, Jake, All right, and this is going to be a brand new channel, kind of showing you some of the things that I pick up and find to add to my gaming collection. This channel is going to be dedicated to mostly video games, but you might see some other finds that are video game related or just anything related to the past. Again, welcome to Nostalgic for Retro. Thank you so much for tuning in, taking your time out of your busy schedule to watch me today and kind of go over some of the finds that I have recently found. I also want to give a little shout out to Scoreless Printing and Designs, okay? This is a company that goes on eBay under the name of Dragons257. I bought, recently bought a Sega shirt from their website. Unfortunately, I don't have it on right now. It's in the wash, but apparently they give out these little raffle tickets when you make a purchase. I wasn't even aware of this. I got a couple raffle tickets in the mail when I got received my uh, blue, awesome-looking Sega shirt, and... I ended up winning the raffle. I never win anything. It was amazing to have a shirt. So they said, hey, you get a free shirt. Let us know what you want. We'll ship it out to you. So I did. I let them know what I wanted. I said, hey, I saw this on your site, and I would love to have this red Dreamcast shirt. So they sent it to me. And when I opened the box, this wasn't the only thing in there. There was this Sega Dreamcast shirt. There was an awesome yellow Wolverine shirt in here, and uh, they didn't even know it, but I am a huge fan of the old X-Men, especially the animated series. Inside the box was also some Dreamcast coasters. Say game over on the back. And they even included Dreamcast lanyard. So, guys, I'm not really affiliated with them. I just wanted to share that I had an awesome experience with scoreless printing and design. Uh, check them out on eBay. Again, their eBay seller name is Dragons257. They got some awesome shirts. Check them out. And they're giving away some free stuff once a month. So, hey, maybe you could be the next winner on them. Thank you very much to Don over there. Appreciate it. I'll be getting something else from you here in the future, too. So, for episode one here, first episode ever, uh, you're going to realize real quick that I am not a professional videographer here. Um... I've got a basic setup. I'm just now getting started. Something I've always wanted to do. I've been inspired by some of the other people on YouTube that do similar things. And I just wanted to take some time out of my busy schedule as well to just share with the community some of the things that I'm picking up. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. So to start off, the finds that I'm going to be showing you are nothing from this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I was tried to post this video last weekend after I picked up some finds. But again, like I said, I'm a very, very, uh, I'm very much a beginner at this, so bear with me. I didn't quite work, and with my profession uh, just now ramping up as busy as it is, it's hard to find any time during the week. So uh, thank you again for being here. Let me go ahead and just start off with what I found at some garage sales and flea markets last weekend. Sometimes I'll even show you some things that I find from social media, like Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up. Uh, no longer let go since offer up and let go have merged in case you did not know uh, But I find things all over the place normally. I just do sales But this past week uh, on the video that you're gonna see right now You're gonna see that I did have a trade and there will be something that unfortunately I did not get a picture of so I cannot post to this video But it was a pretty uh, good item that worked out to get me an even better item. So here we go Let's get started I uh, went out last Saturday morning. There was a community garage sale going on nearby. First thing that I picked up was an Xbox DVD movie playback kit. All right. Um, brand new. Still in the box. Excellent condition. It's got a couple little scuffs on the plastic. But, I mean, for being, what is this, about 20 years old or so now? Yeah, uh, not even, not 20, but almost there. Maybe there's a date on the back here. 2003, so 17 years old. Yeah, this is in excellent shape. Got this for a couple bucks. Just seriously, literally, $2. So that was an excellent find. I uh, went to another garage sale. And while I was there, there was um, well, there was a guy that was running the garage sale. I asked him for video games, and he said he might have some. So he came back out with a dresser drawer that he was, like, literally carrying out and having a difficult time. And I thought, oh, yes, here we go. Unfortunately, most of what was in that drawer were DVDs. There were a few video games, but every single video game in there was, uh, all the cases had a different game in the box. And they weren't even good games to begin with, so it wasn't even worth me trying to piece them together and try to make a deal. Mostly a lot of sports titles, a lot of shovelware. But he did have some good things. Um, I was able to pick up from that guy uh, an Xbox, he had some Xbox Duke controllers. Their wires were coming out and exposed and even broken on both of his controllers. Uh, but he did have one of the breakaway cables, so I was able to get that. 
Um, he had an official Nintendo Wii sensor bar. Okay, this thing is in great shape too. It works. Uh, everything's been tested and works so far. Great. And when I saw this, when I saw Super Mario Galaxy from the Nintendo Selects version, I thought to myself, all right, here we go. Here's a good game. Unfortunately, when I opened it up, well, I've already removed it, but here we go. Not unfortunately, but actually, the game was not inside, but I did get a copy of Wii Sports. Been finding at least one of these a week lately. And these things have kind of gone up. They went up in value real big when COVID hit. Uh, in case you're not watching this now, you're watching this sometime in the future. Yes, this is uh, going on during the pandemic. These skyrocketed in value. They're kind of coming back down now, but they're still carrying a decent little worth to them. So I was able to pick that up, an empty case of Mario Galaxy. You know how it is. It's easy to find loose games, uh, and but not their cases. So I'm confident I'll find a copy of this and be able to put that all together and uh, kind of recoup some of my some of my spending for that weekend another garage sale that i went to now this gar next garage sale was I, I got a big haul out of it um there's a lot of stuff uh and this is the garage sale that i got an item let me tell you about that item first that i no longer have so they had a dsi xl a burgundy one with a whole bunch of ds and even some game boy advance games and i picked that up along with everything else i'm about to show you here and got a pretty good deal on everything. I'll go over how much I paid at the end. So I don't have that to show because I've already traded it. I traded it in later that day for something else uh, even more incredible. And I'm going to save that for the end. So please stay tuned if you want to see something awesome that I'm stoked to have in my collection. Um, but they also they also had a breakaway cable. I don't want you to think I'm just showing the same one over and over again. So look, I got yeah two of them now. An Xbox breakaway cable. So awesome. Um, was able to get... A Mad Cat's kind of like this clear white pearl iridescent GameCube controller, wireless. Did not have the receiver for it though, unfortunately, but I still picked this up. It had batteries in the back, but it was not corroded, so I was very lucky. Got those things out really quickly. Um, also had an official Nintendo Wii controller. Okay, not the remote, but the actual controller. And they had a couple other things there. I, I could have sworn I picked up four of these, but these are official Nintendo, you know, Wii remote back, uh, little back doors, the batteries. Uh, didn't have any Wii remotes, but got some parts, and they did have something else Wii related. I've never seen these, but here in my hand, this is the receiver for a wireless nunchuck, something third party. Did not know that this even existed. Uh, I had two of them, picked them both up, said sure, just put them in a box, and you're going to see why I put them in a box, because there was another whole bunch of stuff I got as well. So got that stuff, uh, 60 gig hard drive for an xbox 360 still works still nice shape i don't need that i'll probably be getting rid of this um what else manual to crash greatest hits kind of torn in the back though whoop de do um they also had an xbox 360 uh charger and uh rechargeable battery pack for an xbox 360 controller there's only one pack unfortunately i wish i had two but I picked both of those up as well. It was part of the deal. They just had a whole bunch of old stuff. Again, garage sales. People just getting rid of stuff. Um, and, a, and he also had an Xbox 360 Slim. When I powered it on, uh, it's all working except for the disk drive. It's not firing up at all. So I'm probably just going to throw that in the trash. I'm not even going to waste my time or yours to show that to you. Um, but now let's get to some of the interesting things that he had in that garage sale. I'm still on that one garage sale with the 3DS, or not 3DS, but the DSi that I don't have to show. Uh, let's see. We have, speaking of his Xbox 360 that I was just mentioning, he had an Xbox 360 Connect with a uh, Nyko uh, zoom lens that attached on the front of it. Uh, first I saw the Connect separate. It was with the Xbox 360. It was not with the box. But later when I made a trip up to this man's attic, I ended up finding the box for it. And I'm going to show you what else I got out of his attic. So, got that. Alright. Um, a lot of empty boxes. I'm about to show you a lot of empty boxes. Everything else from this point on is just about empty boxes. Like two things I think had their games in them, or two or three. And I'll get to that in just a sec. I'll get to the games. But uh, the boxes were all complete with their manuals and everything. Including this GameCube box. Got a silver, got a platinum GameCube box. All the cardboard, all the plastics, all the manuals. Just no GameCube itself. But I accidentally, not accidentally, but I sold a game, my GameCube quite a few years ago when I was thinking I need to get out of video games. And then I realized, what am I doing? What, why, why am I getting rid of some of this stuff? I love this stuff. It's stuff I've had since I, have a kid, since I was a kid. So 
I'm confident I'll find a platinum GameCube to replace that black one I sold. Um, he had a Wii box, Wii Sports box. I believe it's a launch edition. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a hole right in here. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's like someone literally, I mean, my finger fits perfect in there. I didn't do it, though. Anyway, this is complete. All the manuals, all the cardboard, everything is in there like it should be, except for the Wii itself. But as you know, those are prominent right now. You can find those all day, every day. So I'm sure I'll find one for cheap and be able to bundle that together and sell it. Um, here we go. He had a Game Boy Advanced SP box, the Blue Pearl Edition. This is the Game Boy Advanced SP that I happen to have, and he had the box and the manuals and everything in it, so I can complete that now. That was exciting for me. Loved finding that box. So that one definitely had some value for me to it. Um, fat PS2 box. Again, no console, but everything else was in there. So I was super excited to put that on the collection. Um, sitting in my game room right now doing this recording. So if you can't see what all I have around my walls. All the shelving. In fact, I have to put up some more shelving today. For the item I'm going to show you at the end of the video. That hopefully you're sticking around to watch. All right. Um, and I picked that up at his garage. So anyway, kind of starting to ramble. Now let me get on to some of the loose games. Not loose games, I'm sorry. The loose boxes. Usually you find loose games. You don't find loose boxes and manuals around. Uh, so when I found this and everything else, I was kind of excited. I was not kind of excited. I was really excited. Uh, and I was like, all right, let's do this. Let's make a deal. All right. Unfortunately, the games were not there. If they were, it would have just been, uh, it would have been a ridiculous pickup. Ridiculous. But inside one of the game cases that I found was Game Shark Disc for PS2. So I was like, that's cool. Alright, that's cool. Uh, start with PlayStation 1. It's the only PlayStation 1 thing that they had. Bowling. Ooh. Uh, this actually had the game in it, though. So I was like, alright, cool. I'll take bowling. Why not? Um, and now let's move on to PS2 stuff. Alright. So just about all these cases... Actually, all of these cases were empty. Uh, one of them, I was able to put one of my loose discs in so I can make it complete on my shelf. But I'll just go down the list. We got Transformers, the game for PS2. Um, we've got Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. This one's got the manual in it. Transformers did not. Let me see. Superman Returns. Just the box. And NHL 2K3, wow, boxing manual, no game, woo, god, I'm excited for that one. Uh, Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, this one's got boxing manual. Malice, boxing manual. Disney Stitch, I think this is just the box, yeah. Conflict Desert Storm 2, back to, bad da back to Baghdad, that's boxing manual. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, Jet Fusion, Boxing Manual. Jimmy Neutron, Attack of the Twonkies. That's just the box. Uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Greatest Hits. Just the box. I Ninja, Boxing Manual. GTA San Andreas, Boxing Manual. Actually, let me see. Is the map in here? Yeah, map's in here too. Awesome. I need to check mine and see if I've got my map too for that. Because if not, I might be stealing that map out of there. Crash Twin Sanity, this has got its box and manual. Uh, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, box and manual. SOCOM 2, U.S. Navy SEALs, box and manual. Jack 2, box and manual. And the last one I got was Tekken 4, box and manual, and I had this game loose, so I don't know if you can hear it wiggling in there, but now it's complete. Alright, so that's what I got for PlayStation. Again, this is all from that one sale. I still haven't told you the price, how much I paid for everything. But let me get on to some other things. Um, let's move on to DS games. Alright, I got some DS games, a little handful of DS games here. But uh, the first one I'm going to show is, let's start from the part right here. Pet Rescue Ocean Patrol, box and manual. Don't care. Uh, Imagine Babysitters, box and manual. Don't care. Okay. Uh, what we got? Pic what is this called again? Piction Image. Picto image or something. I don't know. Some some crappy game that I don't care about either. Okay. SpongeBob Sponge drawn to life. They all have their manuals in there. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. 
And out of the pile, this one actually had its game in there. Tony Hawk's American Skate Land for the DS. Okay, so that one actually came complete. It's in excellent condition. Stoked about some... No, actually, I wasn't too stoked about those. Not what I'm about to show you I was stoked about. It keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. All right, so some of what I'm about to show you, I've got a handful of GBA games here. And a little story behind one of them, unfortunately. But some of these games I had loose, so I was able to complete them. These were just the empty cases, all right? So I ended up getting... Here, let's start with this. Let's start with Frogger's Adventure, Temple of the Frog. Got box manual for that. I had the game. I can complete it now. Not that special, but hey, it's a complete GBA box on my shelf. Um, Super Mario Advance. I had this one. I already got box protector on it, so that is now complete in my collection. Yeah, it's Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. I don't have that cart yet, but I'm sure I'll get that soon. Uh, he had the box manual for Mario Kart Super Circuit. I did have that game loose, so I was able to complete that. And this one, I'm kicking myself for a little bit. He had Gunstar Superheroes. Didn't know that I had this box in the pile, or in the big box of all the boxes. Found this game with the DSi. And I was, and when I looked it up before I made my trade, I was like, man, that game loose is going for about 30 or so dollars right now. And I put it in my bundle for the DSi trade for what I'm going to show you at the end. And later on when I got home and I went through all of this stuff more thoroughly, I saw that I had the box and manual for this. So I'm kicking myself for getting rid of that game because <sighs> I could have had this complete. But oh well, I'll do something. Maybe I could find it on eBay for a good deal. Maybe I could find it in the wild again. I don't know. I kind of want to complete this now. So... We're not done yet with that garage sale. Let me show you what I got next. Actually, I'm not even. Show, I'm just going to show you one at a time. I got this. This next stack is huge. I think it's 29 or so, about 30. I think. Oh, I got a whole more empty cases. But when I find and complete these, and I do have, actually have a couple discs for some of these, one or two, I think that I can't complete and recoup some of my cost. It'll be great. But all I'm about to show you is all GameCube boxes next. So here we go. Let's just go through the list. <clears throat> Power Rangers, Dino Thunder, not a big deal. Uh, Soul Calibur, actually, hold on, hold on, let me back up, let me back up, I got the manual in it, yeah, okay, it does have the manual, no disc, but manual. Soul Calibur 2, Player's Choice, no manual on that one, unfortunately, I have this game already. Um, Sonic Mega Collection, Player's Choice, Box and Manual. Uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Box and Manual. Mario Kart Double Dash, box and manual, and I have a copy of this game loose, so I'll be able to complete that, and I actually already have a complete copy of that game, so I'll be able to sell that guy and get some of my money back on this, kind of. I've already got my money back on this, actually, I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, Smash Bros. Melee, box and manual, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Tie the Tas Tasmanian Tiger 2, box and manual, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tiger Woods 06. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, box and manual. Teen Titans, box and manual. Tech 2, The Staff of Dreams, box and manual. Uh, Super Mario Strikers, box and manual. Another good one right there. Star Fox Adventure, box only. No manual on that. Ugh. SpongeBob SquarePants. Lights, camera, pants, box, and manual. We got some Sonic games coming up. Sonic Riders, box, and manual. Sonic Heroes, manual included. I'm tired of saying box and manual already. Okay, so Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, manuals in there. Manuals in Sonic Adventure Two Battle. Okay. Uh, Rocket Power Beach Bandits, manuals in there. Who cares? Pokemon Coliseum. Another good one. Just the box, though. No manual, unfortunately. Ooh, let's save that one. I'm going to save that one. Save that one. Nicktoons Unite. Just the box. Need for Speed Underground. Just the box. Uh, let's see. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Manual's in there. Naruto Clash of Ninja. Manual's in there. Oh, here we go. We got some more Mario. Mario Superstar Baseball. Manual's in there, too. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Mario Power Tennis with the manual. Alright, let's see. Let me just... I'm tired of my back. Bending over, picking up these empty cases. 
Uh, Lego Star Wars Player's Choice. Got the manual in there. Finding Nemo. Right? You know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> player's Choice. Got the... I don't know how that's a Player's Choice. I don't know how that was the greatest hits. Manual's in there. Uh, Enter the Matrix. No manual in here, but this is a two-disc set, and disc two is in here. So I'm missing disc one and the manual. Interesting. Um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Uh, do I have a manual in here? No, no manual. Felt kind of light. Curious George with the manual. And All-Star Baseball 2004. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no manual. In fact, I just think I realized that's upside down. And so i got to flip that artwork. All right, now the last case I got for the GameCube. This one is in excellent condition. It's got its manual. It's got all the paperwork in it. Box is great. I just need to find this disc for it. I can't believe I don't have it yet. But we got... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, okay? This, um, uh, I'm very, I was excited to get. Player's Choice Edition, that's fine. I don't care either way. Super stoked to get that. Now, that's all I got from this one garage sale. And it cost me a grand total of $80. I paid 80 bucks for that. Is that a good deal? You tell me. Tell me in the comments below, please. I don't know. Was that a good deal for all these empty boxes? Things I can complete now? I think so. Remember, I didn't even show you the DSi that I sold, or traded. And I traded it. For eighty dollars, so I've kind of gotten my money back. There were some other okay games, and there's a lot of DS games in there. Some fodder, though. Um, I think I did good on that deal, though. I think it was a win. Uh, Cause next, let's go. After we left that community garage sale, we kind of hit up a few more places. Didn't find anything else. My wife and I went on to the flea markets. We went clear across town, side of town. We don't normally go on. Um, traveled about an hour to get there, and we had some good luck at the flea market. I'll say that. So. Walking around the flea market, I was in a video game store there, one of the vendors, and you know how some of those stores are. They ask, you know, the, 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 the going rate, eBay prices. They're a store. They got a storefront. They got to pay for their stuff. I get it. Um, but I saw an item in there that caught my eye, and when they told me the price, I said, I, I might be back. I'll see what I can do. So I went walking around. As I'm walking around, um, found Extreme G2 for Nintendo 64, uh, picked it up. It wasn't working when I got home and tested it, but I got it cleaned up, super cleaned up, super nice. Now I just got to clean some of that marker off the top. I forgot to do that, but that's easy to do. Got this, and for PS1, I got Namco Museum Volume 3. I paid $10 for both of these. I think I overpaid, but, you know, you see this stuff in the wild. Sometimes, I don't know. I can't resist. I, I have a hard time. Where I'm, where, where I'm from, finding stuff like this. PS1 games are still kind of popping up. N64s are, but, man, people are asking a lot of money for this around here now. They think they've got gold sometimes when they don't, but uh, anyway, I got these for 10 bucks. But let me just progress and get better as I'm walking around that. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Before I tell you what else I got at that flea market, I got two more items. When I was garage sale in the community, I forgot. I forgot to include that I found a Xbox 360 with the Kinect, with the Kinect games that came with it. It actually had another Kinect game loose in there, okay? I went into these people's attic because they said they had something. I was, They said, you're more than happy to go into our attic and look. Brand new house in a new neighborhood. Went up there. There were three tubs. Couldn't find it. Eventually, they found it in their garage. So, anyway, I have to find a leak in their attic. Told them about that in their new house. So, they were happy about it. About, no, well, they weren't happy about the leak. But they were happy about the news so they can get that fixed before it turned into a bigger issue. But when she finally found this, it's in excellent shape. They're like, yeah, we only played it a couple times, and it looks like it. It was in excellent shape. It didn't have, like, a fingerprint on it. It was great. I fired it up at home. Everything works like it was brand new. Uh, they told me to take this. They said, just take it. They didn't want it anymore. I gave them $5. said, no, nah, I can't. I don't know. I just felt bad taking something from somebody. So I gave them $5 for a complete inbox Xbox 360. Okay, awesome. I'll be getting rid of this. I don't need another one. All right, back to the flea market. <laughs> Walking around the flea market after I found those two little games that I just showed you a moment ago, I saw a Turbo Graphic 16 mini box sitting behind a lady in one of her tents, and I went, "Oh, what's that?" And then I saw the actual unit itself, just the console, sitting on something else. So my wife saw. I told her, "I was like, hey, look what that is," and she so she asked the lady. She goes, "Hey, excuse me, ma'am, how much for the uh, how much for the Turbo Graphic?" Lady goes, huh? So, yeah, right, exactly. She didn't. Even, she didn't know what it was. I, so I told her, I said, the video game. How much for the video game? She goes, oh, ten dollars. So okay, ten bucks for a Turbo Graphics. So I said, I'll take it. Sure, hand it on over. So she did. Looked through the boxes. As I started looking through the box here, here it is. 
no power cord and no controller. And I told her, I said, oh, ma'am, you don't have the controller for this. So she goes, okay, $5. So I got a Turbo Graphics Mini, which I already have anyway, so I'll be selling this bad boy. But I got this for $5. Still has the manual in it. It's got uh, some of the cardboard inserts. I don't know if it has all of them. I haven't done 100% comparison. But the unit works just fine. Tested it out. I unplugged mine and hooked this one up, and it works just fine. But I will show you this. It's a little... A little janky on the end here so that whoever had this i don't know it looks almost looks like water damage like it got a little wet or maybe whoever bought this was uh, a little excited but yeah i mean this is from amazon so there's the amazon sticker on it as well but yeah turbo graphics mini for five bucks at a flea market great day but it got better oh it got better so <laughs> after i start after my wife and i go back to our car because it's hot it's super hot for me uh, she wasn't feeling too good. She's she's pregnant right now. We're expecting our girl in November. Just want to throw that out there because I'm super excited. Um, she goes back to the car. We both go back to the car. She wanted to sit down and get in the AC. We're about to leave, actually. It's like, all right, let's go. Let's go. I thought about the item that I'm about to show you, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to fork out the $200 that the guy was asking for. So she goes, well, why don't you trade? My wife tells me, why don't you trade some of that stuff you got? See if you'll take some of those Xboxes and stuff that you were going to try to get rid of anyway, you know, that, uh, that you were planning on selling. It's a great idea. I've seen some people on YouTube talk about trades, and here's my wife telling me the same thing. I was like, perfect, babe. You're such a genius. So I go back, talk to the guy, told him what I had. He's not interested in the Xboxes. He doesn't know if they work or not, which was kind of a good thing because one of them didn't. One of them's in excellent shape, but he didn't even want to look at it. Um, when I told him about the DSi, obviously I don't have it to show you, and I told you earlier that I traded it. He took it. He took the games. He took the Gunstar Superheroes game, too, that I wish I would have just held on to. And he gave me $80 store credit for it. And... The unit that I'm about to show you, yes, it's a unit, okay? I was very excited for this. That ended up knocking the price down to 120 And I only had $70 cash on me, so I had to go pull out 50 more. After we tested this unit, though, it wasn't working 100%. I was, getting, I was getting a little disappointed. I wasn't mad or upset or anything. I was just disappointed because I really wanted to get this and we were working on a deal. But if it wasn't working right, I wasn't going to get it. He eventually said he got it working right. I kind of looked at it. And I was like, yeah, it worked right. And then it stopped working 100% again. Uh, but I was iffy. He said, all right, listen, man. Just give me the $70 in your wallet and don't worry about the 50 bucks." So I ended up paying 70 cash for what I'm about to show you. And I could get that back easily with some of this stuff around here that I'm going to sell to. So here's what I got for 70 bucks at a flea market. Mm. Finally, in my collection... I've got a Virtual Boy. Yeah. Came with, um, I, it came with the power adapter. So I've got the, the plug-in power adapter. I don't have the portable one, not the wireless one, but I do have the power adapter for it, the official Nintendo power adapter. Okay. Uh, did come with a controller as well. I mean, I don't, I'm going to say an official Virtual Boy controller, but I don't think there's an unofficial one out there. Seems how this was only on the market for about mm, less than a year. And it did come with a game. I got the, the pack-in game for it loose, but I did get Mario Tennis as well. So I paid 70 bucks for all this. And guess what? When I got home, I looked up what the problem was, and I was able to fix it on my own. This bad boy works great now. It has no problem whatsoever. So after I get rid of a couple things that I don't need, that I already have, this is going to be free. Oh, yeah, it looks good. So that was last weekend. This weekend, uh, probably not going to be able to go out and get anything. Probably wouldn't be able to top that anyway. Uh, I'll show you. I got something in the shop that I got about three or four weeks ago at another garage sale. And once I get it out of the shop, I'm going to show you on the next episode as well. So stay tuned. Thank you so much again for tuning in to Nostalgic for Retro. My name is Jake. Please, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get the notifications whenever I post a video. Uh, please like the video. If you don't like it, if you thought this was dumb, lame... Sure, give me a thumbs down. It's your opinion. You're entitled to it. You can have one. All right, that's fine. But if you stayed till the end here, you must have liked it. You must have liked what you saw. You must have liked seeing that mystery, that last item here, cream of the crop. So happy to get this in my collection. Uh, but I've got to go now. i got to install a new shelf in here because this game room is already pretty maxed out. i got to find a place to put this because this is not going to remain on the floor. Thanks again for tuning in. Catch you next time.